and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to make one that I thought would be pretty interesting. Um, I thought people would enjoy it, and it might get a little risque. What the hell am I talking about? We are talking about nudes. Yay! Not those kind of nudes. I'm not that kind of gal anymore. However, we are talking about these particular nudes, and these guys are the kind that I like. I figured, you know, what would be more interesting than talking about the favorite nude lipsticks or lip glosses, well these are all lipsticks, lipsticks, favorite lipsticks, nude lipsticks that I tend to grab for, gravitate towards on the daily whenever I don't really feel like wearing a fancy color out and about. So I would like to make this pretty short and sweet because I don't want to take forever showing you all of these different lipstick colors because honestly they're all pretty similar but just a little bit different. Like there's enough variation where it's like I have to have them all and it justifies having them all. So without further ado, let's get started showing off these nudes. Okay, so I am going to attempt to put these on without lip liner. I wear lip liner every single time I wear a lipstick. I don't want it to affect the color payoff of the lipstick itself, so you guys really get to see the exact color that I am so obsessed with. So let's try not to use any lip liner and not make it look horrible. Okay, so the very first one that I want to show you guys and talk to you guys about is probably the first true nude lipstick that I ever bought and it is hands down my favorite, I think, of all time. This one is the Gerard Cosmetics Nude Lipstick in the shade Buttercup. I love this lipstick. I am pretty low on it. <laughs> I've shown it a lot of love over the years, but this lipstick is amazing and I will show you why. Okay, so here is Buttercup on the lips. I think it is such a pretty baby pink type nude. I love pink undertone, especially the cool pink undertone nudes. That's like my jam. And this one certainly falls into that category. So once again, this one is Buttercup. The next nude up on the list is by Bite Beauty. It is one of their pencils. It is in the shade, oh lord, Madeira? Madeira, I think is how you say that. This is one of their pigment, high pigment pencils. It's kind of like give her a twist in, and it's just, it's like a big lipstick pencil. So let me apply that and show her off. This one is so soft and silky feeling on the lips. I love it. So this is the high pigment pencil right here by Bite Beauty. I love it. Like I said, it's so soft. It's so creamy. It glides on so smooth. I just, ugh. I love it so much. So the next lipstick is by Maybelline. It is their shade Beige Babe. I love this so much. So, so much. Okay, so this is Beige Babe applied to my lips. This one is definitely, what the hell was that? This one is definitely a lot more cool tone, kind of a more stone uh, hint undertone with it. It is definitely still pink. It falls within the pink realm. However, this one's just a little bit more cool tone than the other two. You may also notice this one has a little bit more of a flat finish, kind of like a satin finish as opposed to like the high uh, creamy, high gloss that the other two are, but I still love this one so much. Okay, so this next one, I can definitely say with confidence this is my favorite nude of all time, forever. Probably. This is the Kylie Cosmetics and KKW collaboration. Uh, their Velvet Lip Cream, I think is what they're actually called, in the shade Kiki. Mm. I love this collection so much. I'm actually so happy that I purchased it. And out of all of them, like I said, this one is my favorite. I do love all the others because they are beautiful. However, this one is the creme de la creme. So this is Kiki. Oh, this was just so much different in my opinion from all the other ones and oh, it's just so stinking pretty and flattering and I can't stop staring at it. Now one thing I do love with this particular collaboration is for one they're not the liquid lips so they're not as drying and these are way more comfortable but you can even kind of change the finish by like tapping it in with your finger which is actually something that I prefer to do. I actually prefer that finish over the regular finish that it has without tapping the finger. So I don't know if you guys can tell on camera as much uh, like the drastic transformation as much as I can tell here in person but I prefer this finish over like the super bright glossy finish. I love this. Normally I would wear this with a lip liner underneath because it can be a little sheer 
um, which I don't mind. However, my lip, like my actual lip color can kind of take over and kind of distort lip sticks. So uh, that's no good. But anyway, I love this shade. It is so pretty. And like I said, it's definitely my favorite out of the entire line. All right. So my last favorite nude is a liquid lipstick. Now that's not something I wear all the time because my lips are usually very dry to begin with. And I don't like how drying lip liquid lipsticks are on top of that. It's just not very comfortable for me. However, this particular brand of liquid lipsticks, I, I can tolerate pretty well. So this is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mannequin. I love it so, 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 so much. It's just the perfect nudie shade. Okay, so this is Mannequin on my lips. It's pretty much dried down to the, sh the matteness that it is going to be. It definitely feels a lot more constricting on the lips than any of my other ones do, but this color is just so beautiful. It's definitely more of a brown tone nude compared to the other ones, but I still love it just the same. It is oh, so universal. It's just so flattering. So guys, that was it. Nice and short and sweet. I wanted to show you my top five favorite nude lipsticks. Now, of course, I own probably around 20 to 30 lipsticks. That's a very large variation. Regardless, I own a lot of nude lipsticks, but these are the ones that I just gravitate towards. They're the ones that I reach for every day. There's a reason why. They're amazing, and I wanted to share that with you guys in case you've been out there looking for the perfect nude and maybe wanted a few suggestions into what to look out for. So, last thing I will do for you guys is swatch them on the back of my hand, I guess. I'll swatch them on the back of my hand so you can see all of them side by side, and or maybe I'll do my arm. I think I'll do my arm actually. But I'll swatch them so you guys can see the colors side by side and actually see the variations that I was talking about so I don't sound as crazy as I probably am. And <laughs> you guys can see that they are each a little bit different from the other and of course that's why we need them all. Thanks so much for watching my video guys and I hope you enjoy the swatches. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you go and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>